What is going on everybody, my name is Mehul and welcome to your ninth WordPress theme development tutorial and in this tutorial I'm gonna quickly go over to how to set up your sublime text with WordPress theme development because if you look like right now you would see that if you start writing PHP then you don't have actually access to you know autocomplete features like if I write anything like register settings there's a sort of function like that so you don't have access to this thing and uh, the reason we would need this a more solid reason would be that WordPress contains a lot of functions methods hooks constants and all that stuff so it would be kind of cumbersome and boring to just go to documentation every time to look how many arguments we need to pass in and what is the order of arguments so an autocomplete plugin would save us a lot of time so to do that just go to preferences package control write install package hit enter and uh, it would just load the repositories you can see down here then write WordPress and just install the first one and it says installing package WordPress down here you can see and it said me package installed successfully all right so the next thing is that you have done installing that so just go ahead and write like even if I can do that in functions.php because that would kind of make more sense so I could just go ahead and create a function like function my function and right here I can say like register setting and you can see that on my tab it gave me this autocomplete thing like option group option name sanitize callback so this is kind of useful and this is not I'm gonna, not gonna use it in this tutorial but we're gonna make use of this thing later on when we are just you know kind of developing a real theme so I guess I would just end this tutorial here and from the next tutorial onwards we are extremely you know just I'm extremely excited to start off with this because it's been too long since we are just talking about other stuff like organizing things and you know different stuff so from the next tutorial onwards we're going to start with wordpress theme development and if you like this tutorial then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching